football can't fare over 100 yards. Ryan Jackson had a couple of touchdowns in the game as well. As a team, you went over 200 yards in the game, and I just wanted to get a comment or two about your guys. Can it fare on Ryan Jackson? Well, you know, again, philosophically, we want to, we want to get first downs, and to, and to do that um, and take some pressure off of uh, Greg Ward with his third collegiate start, uh, second being on the road, uh, we got to be able to run the football. We've got great confidence in uh, both Kenneth and Ryan, and I think they've got great confidence in themselves. And I think our offensive line is getting much, much better. So uh, you have that type of combination, and, and you, you get positive yards on first down. Uh, you know, it's, a, it's certainly uh, uh, ingredients for success. On the other side of the football, you give up to just three points in the game. You keep USF out of the end zone. Any day you, you keep the team out of the end zone, it's going to be a good evening for you. Well, and again, I think, uh, you know, we're known for turnovers defensively. We got the one at the end, which uh, certainly we're happy about. But uh, but at the end of the day, uh, it, it's it's scoring defense that matters the most. So to, to come on the road, uh, play a team with, with the talent that South Florida has and, and uh, only allow them to get three points, I thought a defense played a great game. You mentioned the turnover at the end. Adrian McDonald uh, gets the interception, runs your streak out now up to 31 games in a row with the uh, with the turnover. Were you, were you sweating it a little bit? Did you have it in the back of your mind that you wanted to grab it? Uh, a little bit, uh, and really I saw the stats at halftime and it reminded me we had not created a turnover yet. They did a nice job with ball security. We forced a fumble on that last drive, and then uh, when they came down out on that uh, uh, fourth down play, uh, we felt like we knew what route we were going to get, and uh, the route we uh, anticipated was the one that came, and AMAC made a great play. Well, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you your win today, East Carolina losing, UCF losing. You're now at the, the top of the, the American Conference with several teams, and I know that's got to be a good feeling this deep in the year. Uh, the good feeling right now is that we came on the road, got a win, and, and our focus now turns to Tulane. And uh, you know we don't look at standings. We want to we want to try and uh, put together a great game plan this week. Uh, get out and practice again. We came out of this game uh, healthy for the most part, and, and set our sights for being back home against a, a talented Tulane team. It'll be your first normal week in a long time. You play a Saturday game tonight, to, and now you prepare for a Saturday game next week. Uh, that's going to be a different feeling for you. Well, it's the first uh, Saturday to Saturday since last season, and here we are in the first part of November. So again, it's uh, uh, I think routine is is all always good and, and it'd be good to get back uh, home, kind of get back in the routine of a, of a uh, seven day layoff. Thanks coach, congratulations. Thank you.